So we've just found a really critical error that's been holding this website back from a lot of growth. What's up, SEO legends? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna walk you guys through how I do SEO audits, so let's get into the video. So I like to start my SEO audits tackling the technical issues first. And the best place to start with that, in my opinion, is taking a look at Google Search Console. So Google Search Console is the closest contact we have to Google, and it's the easiest way of knowing what Google thinks of our website. So even even though Google might not pick up all the minutia inside an SEO audit, we do want to make sure that we know exactly what Google thinks of our website. So have they flagged any serious technical issues? Things like your website being mobile friendly or you not having a secure HTTPS version of your website. So stuff like this is what we can take a look at inside Search Console. Are there any sections of your site that aren't being indexed? So all of this stuff is what we wanna take a look at inside of the Search Console. So mobile usability, we can just make sure that all the pages are mobile friendly. We can take a look at our sitemaps. If Google is having any trouble taking a look at our sitemaps and if we have any security issues or any manual actions, we will see all that stuff directly in Google Search Console. And guys, don't forget that this is free. So it's a great resource and a great way to start off that SEO audit. After taking a look at Google Search Console, if everything checks out, I just wanna quickly take a look at Google Analytics. So what I wanna do here is take a look at the trend of this website's organic traffic. So so has it increased over time? Is it decreasing? What's been happening over the last six months, a year, two years, if we have that data available, right? This is gonna help me understand where that website is in this specific moment. And now once we've done both of those checks, I like to perform an additional technical audit. So for those of you that are looking for a free technical audit, there's a few resources that we can take a look at. So something like seositecheckup.com, these guys give you a pretty in-depth SEO audit, even though sometimes some of this data isn't super accurate, and on top of it, there's a lot of things where you might have to sign up or pay for the specific product, right? So that's kind of annoying, but it's definitely available and worthwhile. Another tool that works really well is something like seoreseller.com. So I've recently done an audit. We can check that out right here. And it's gonna give us some interesting data that we can take a look at. So usability, security, organic traffic, paid traffic, all this stuff. And if you are working with clients, you can actually save this as a PDF and send this to your respective clients. You can even white label it and add your little logo. This is my old logo. So this works quite well. However, guys, I do wanna say that if you can afford to pay for a premium SEO tool, something like Semra, or Ahrefs, I really recommend it. These tools are game changers. They're really gonna help you improve your organic traffic. So I've been a long time fan of Ahrefs and we're gonna use that for today's video. So within Ahrefs, there's actually a site audit feature. And if we take a look at one of my test websites, we're gonna see the different types of things that Ahrefs can bring up inside of this site audit. So we're gonna get this health score, which basically sums everything up just to give you an idea of how that website is doing. Doing a lot of different things in here that we can take a look at, but this is the main area, right? So what are the top issues that I might wanna take a look at? So it's giving us issues like title tags, they're missing, duplicate pages, orphan pages, broken links, redirects, 404 pages, the image file size is too large. So these type of issues are very important to find. This is stuff that Google Search Console hasn't found. So it's a really great feature that Ahrefs has, right? You can just quickly plug in your domain and you can have this type of audit right away. And I know SEMrush has a very similar feature, right? So once we've found these issues, we can then list them in terms of priorities. That's gonna help us start to structure what are the first things we need to do when we're working with this website. So if you're looking for a deeper dive or you're a more advanced SEO, you might also want to do an additional technical audit using something like Screaming Frog. I am gonna be making a video on Screaming Frog pretty soon, so you definitely wanna subscribe. You don't wanna miss out on that one. Okay, so now that we've gotten the technical stuff out of the way, we now want to take a look at the keywords and we wanna take a look at the traffic for the website that we're doing that audit for. So I've actually found a random New York City lawyer and I'm just gonna use that website for this example today. So the website is thebarnsfirm.com and first thing I'm gonna do is I wanna take a look at this overview inside of Ahrefs. So how much traffic is this website getting and what does the authority look like, right? So we're seeing it's getting around a monthly 50K in organic traffic. That traffic value is ridiculous. There's definitely gonna be some very competitive 
keywords in there. Again, just quickly take a look at the domain rating, the URL rating, and what that pattern looks like, what that trend looks like over the last few years. I do wanna open up the organic keywords page just to take a look at what type of keywords are they ranking for and are they actually the target keywords that they should be ranking for, right? That their business actually cares about. So here we go, if we quickly take a look at these keywords. So slip and fall lawyer, pretty significant volume. Looks like a keyword, the, the difficulty isn't too bad, but they're pulling in quite a lot of really, really high quality traffic. And so guys, this is exactly what we want to see when we're doing this keyword audit. We wanna see keywords that are hyper relevant to the business that we're working with, right? So let me give you guys an example of what we don't want to see. There's this pretty big translation website called daytranslations.com. And if we take a look at some of their more popular keywords, we're gonna see that not all of these keywords are super relevant. Even though a lot of these pages are bringing a lot of traffic and they could be good for generating backlinks, they aren't extremely relevant for the main idea of the business, which is translation, right? So things like, is globalization good or bad? What was the first language? Simlish phrases. And that's the, it looks like it's the Sims language. Uh, what's the oldest language in the world? So I don't know how relevant this traffic is. A lot of this traffic might not be super helpful, but it's still, it's good to see the breakdown of traffic. Another thing that I like doing while I'm checking out a lot of these keywords is I like to open up some of these pages and just quickly glance over and make sure that the on-page is being set up correctly. Given that we've already done a technical audit with Ahrefs, we would have probably already seen some on-page SEO mistakes, but it's still, for me, it's really important just to quickly take a look at some of the on-page and make sure that it's properly structured. So some of the things that I'm looking for here is number one, the title tag and meta description. So if we quickly just search this specific page, we're gonna see that looks like this title is a little long. Maybe there's a better way of formatting this specific title, but we do see that the meta description is specific to this page and it looks like it's quite well written. So if we go back to that page, what I want to do now is just quickly inspect elements, some of the sections of this page. So I'm gonna just grab the mouse here and what I wanna see is I wanna see that there's one H1, so it looks like that's set up uh, quite well. And then I wanna see other subheadings that help to break down the rest of the page properly, right? So we have an H2 and it looks like the actual text inside of the H2 is relevant. A uh, nice block of text and then another H2 and it looks like there's an H4 here. So this all looks solid. Some of these images look a little weird maybe because it's responsive, but it looks like the on page on this specific page makes sense, right? So we'd also check some of these internal links, make sure that everything is working here. So it looks like they know exactly what they're doing in terms of on page. So this to me is a necessary step. Just quickly go through a few of their top pages, make sure that the on page is correctly set up. And if it isn't, that's already a really high impact thing that we can do and really improve that website's ranking online. So now guys, we can take a look at the backlinks. We've already taken a look at the technical side of this audit. We've had a quick breakdown of the keywords and the traffic. We can definitely go more in depth. I'm just giving you guys the main ideas here. And now we wanna take a look at their backlinks, right? So I like to go back to the overview and what I like to do is I like to get into the referring domains and not the backlinks right so we can have multiple backlinks per domain so taking a look at the referring domains just helps us have a bird's eye view of all the links that this website has acquired over the last few years so when I'm taking a look at these backlinks there's four quick checks that we can do. One thing that's a must when we're doing these quick checks is I wanna have do follow selected, right? So we're not really interested in no follow links right now. We're interested in do follow. Those are links that pass authority from one page to the other, right? So let's take a look at these four tests. So the first one is I wanna take a look at their top links. So the links with the highest domain rating, what's the most powerful website that has linked out to this specific website and why, right? So we have AOL over here and we can open up the links to target. We see there's there's some reviews, something like findlaw.com, maybe iheart.com. So different pages talking about what's open right now. This might've been during COVID. Uh, so we see AB7, abc7news.com. This looks like a really relevant link. Yeah, so it's talking about the specific 
attorney, so that law firm in New York City. So all these links look really solid. A second check that we wanna do is we wanna take a look at first scene. So these are gonna be the most recent links that are coming into this website, right? So the main thing here is we wanna see if there's any toxic links coming in. Have they been involved in some ugly link building schemes? Are they getting a lot of links recently for content that they've published? So we wanna see the types of links that are coming in most recently and what they look like. And again, we can just check this one out right here, uh, greendiary.com, open up the links to Target. And yeah, so it looks like this is uh, an in-content link from a domain rating 52, URL 9. So we might wanna open up this link, check it out, see if it makes sense. And that way we'll have a better idea of the types of links that are coming in right now. The third check that I like doing is taking a look at the best by links in terms of pages. So what pages have the highest amount of links? That's gonna help me understand the pages that are gonna perform the best, right? So we have uh, Los Angeles personal injury attorney, so 47 referring domains coming in. Oakland, Manhattan, San Diego. So these guys definitely know what they're doing. A lot of referring domains coming in for really relevant pages. And the final thing that I wanna take a look at when I'm taking a look at the backlinks is the anchor. So that's gonna give us a really solid bird's eye view of all the different links that are coming in, what specific anchor text they're using to link out to this specific website. So looks like the most popular anchor text is the barnsfirm.com, so the actual domain, which is actually a healthy sign. So these are probably natural links that are coming in. Then we have the brand, other domain versions, and then with a very small percentage, we have an exact match anchor text. So this looks like a great anchor text ratio. We don't see any anchor text that are over optimized. So looks like they're doing things quite well. And guys, the last thing that I wanna to talk to you guys about is when we're doing these SEO audits, it's also really important to take a look at the competitors and just know where this specific website is in the space. How big is it in comparison to other competitors? Are they doing something that you aren't? So there's a few things that we can do. If we go into organic search and we scroll all the way down, we're gonna see the top 10 competitors in the US. So we can then go on and do quick audits on some of these websites, see if there's anything that they're doing that we haven't yet. It's gonna give us a lot of ideas of what we can do in the future. So if you guys are interested in more advanced SEO audits and breakdowns, I really recommend you check out this playlist where I break down successful SEO strategies from really big companies like Canva, like Shopify, and like Ikea. Otherwise, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one.